So we have 2 sec x plus 1 equals 6. And we're going to solve it in the interval 0 to 2 pi. First of all, we're going to take 1 from both sides. That will give us 2 sec x equals 5. Then we're going to divide both sides by 2. That gives us sec x is 5 over 2. Next, we're going to take the reciprocal of both sides. So the reciprocal of sec is cos. So we get cos x. And the reciprocal of 5 over 2 is 2 fifths. From here, we just need to put inverse cos of 2 fifths into our calculator to get the principal solution. If we do that, we're going to get 1.16. Once we've got the principal solution, to get a second solution for cos in radians, we're going to do 2 pi minus the original solution. So we're going to do 2 pi minus our answer here, and that would give us 5.12. Both of those answers are to two decimal places in radians. OK, I'm now going to put another one up on the screen. You might want to pause the video, have a go at it, and then come back and check your solution against mine. OK, so here we have 3 sec x minus 2 equals negative 10. First of all, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. That will give me 3 sec x equals minus 8. Then I'm going to divide through by 3 to get sec x is minus 8 thirds. From here, I'm going to get it in terms of cosine by taking the reciprocal of both sides. So we get cosine of x equals minus 3 eighths. From here, we can put it into our calculator. Remember, this one is in degrees, specifically to the nearest degree. If we do inverse cos of negative 3 eighths, our principal solution is 112 degrees. To get a second solution, we need to use the symmetry property. We could do 360 minus our first solution, and that would give us a second solution, but it wouldn't be valid because it'd be bigger than 180 degrees. So instead, I'm going to use the other symmetry property of cosine, which says that cosine theta is equal to cosine of minus theta. So the second solution would be minus 112 degrees. If you did use the first solution to get one that was too large, you could then just use the periodic property, which says you could subtract 360, and you would still arrive at 112 degrees.